Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to share with you all how you can build muscle on a calisthenics training regime because so many people out there find that they get into calisthenics and they're not really gaining the muscle that they're looking to obtain and sustain with this type of specific training. And I'm gonna share you what I've learned with my own personal journey with calisthenics over the last 11 months with gaining over 10 kilos of muscle within that time which is a relatively high amount of muscle within a short period of time so the reason why i see people go wrong time and time again is because they're not doing enough of research and learning from the right people on calisthenics training that have got the results so a lot of people go in the gym and just make up their own workout routines and they don't really know what they're actually doing and yeah just a lot of time doing it very very wrong so if you want to get the greatest benefits in the shortest period of time with gaining the body that you desire of calisthenics then you need to be doing the right training consistently over time you're not going to get the results overnight so if you're someone that lives what I call the microwave world then you need to get out of that mindset not everything is going to come overnight it didn't take you a very short period of time to get your body to where it is now and it's not going to take a short while to get it to where you want it to be with doing calisthenics on a regular basis. So I'm first going to explain how many rounds of the exercise. So first what I'm going to explain is how many exercises you roughly want to be doing. So you want to be ideally doing around six different exercises and you want to be doing at least three to four rounds of each exercise. So you do each exercise once six times and then come round and then do it around three to four times of those six different exercises. And depending on what um, level you're at with calisthenics and what your fitness level's at, if you're new, you wanna be resting around 60 seconds. But as you get more advanced and more fitter and more stronger, and you don't fatigue as easily, you can start shortening it. You could go down to like 50 seconds, 45 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 minutes, 20 seconds, but listen to your body. And don't try and shorten the rest time too quickly. Listen to your body. And if you feel that you can start shortening the rest time, then start doing that. And I found for me, I just went with 60 seconds for months and now my ab exercises only rest around 15 seconds. And with my arms around 30, to 45 seconds sometimes up to 60 seconds as well and when you're doing these exercises, you want to be doing what is known as specific hypotrophy training which is doing anywhere from around the 6 to 12 rep range because from the research that I've done on this this is the best training to maximize muscle growth in the shortest period of time and when you're doing 6 to 12 reps if you're doing 6 to 12 reps and you get to the end, the amount of reps you're doing out of the total of 6 to 12, and it wasn't really that hard for you, then you need to pick in a harder exercise. So if you find you can do 12 standard push-ups really easily, then what you can do is to make it even harder, put your hands down lower, you could even do waist push-ups, and that will make it a lot more challenging. Then, when you're doing 6 to 12 reps, you're really pushing yourself to your limit, and you're really like pushing your muscles and by doing this you can really tear the muscle fibers to actually allow them to grow when you are resting and recovering because if you're doing really easy exercises really light it's not going to do that effect very effectively so then you're not really going to build muscle mass and literally after your training your muscles should ache for a day, two days, three days, even four days. It's gonna vary from person to person depending on how much sleep you get and what diet you're eating and so forth. Like, for me, I recover a lot faster than most people because I'm doing daily intermittent fasting. I go to bed early, a plant-based whole food diet. I do supplementation and many other things as well. And also doing flexibility and mobility work days after will help your muscles recover a lot quicker as well. Well, and if you're someone that would like an example of what a workout may look like, I'm going to put a link for my abs workout video that I made a couple of months ago where it shows you six different ab exercises. It tells you how long to rest, how many reps to do as well. And yeah, that can just, yeah, give you a rough idea of what a training routine may look like. And if you're someone that would like me to make 
different workout videos. Let me know down below what type of workout videos you'd like and whether you're beginner, intermediate or advanced and I know which specific workouts to make and I'll get them made for you as soon as possible. And also, I will be making a lot on the future that are ones that are not requested but I know that people out there in the calisthenics movement need or people that are just embarking on this journey. So yeah, just follow this advice. So it's as simple as that. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. It's always going to get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about what I shared with you today in this video in relation to building calisthenics like I've managed to within 11 months and gaining around 10 kilos of muscle. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more calisthenics videos from me on a regular basis. Also making many videos teaching you how to do intermittent fasting, what are the benefits of intermittent fasting, and many other videos to just help you go in the direction of achieving the body that you desire, and also dropping your body fat while increasing your muscle mass at the same time. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise you will not be notified by YouTube of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.